we are super excited for another Kids Church with all of you. We're so glad that you're joining with us today as there are so many fun things planned just for you. We're going to start off straight away with today's memory verse. So let's get up and get ready to say it together. Okay, juniors, we're going to do this week's memory verse. This is the exact same one that we did last week with Heather, so you should maybe all know this by now, but just in case, we're going to go over the words and the actions. So it goes like this. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Do you think you got it? We'll go over it one more time, and then we'll start to speed it up and maybe do some actions. So we'll go in three two one the bible says in acts chapter one verse eight but you will receive power when the holy spirit comes upon you unbelievable okay let's try to speed it up a tiny bit and see how we go so let's all try to do this together we'll go in three two one the bible says in acts chapter one verse eight but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Unbelievable, juniors, you're doing so well. I think you've got both the words and the actions. So now we're just gonna do a wee challenge. We're gonna stand on one foot, try to keep our balance, and then we're gonna do the memory verse while standing on one foot. So we'll go in three, two, one. The Bible says in Acts chapter one, verse eight, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Brilliant job. Well done, all of you. That was super. You got the words and the actions all together at the same time. Unreal. Good job. We are now going to go over to Professor Noah Little's lab to see what experiment he is going to do today. So let's get ready to watch. Done. So, new equation for today, P plus zero, zero equals two. Oh, how funny that two. Oh, hello. I did not see you there coming through this glass. <laughs> My name is Professor Noah Little. Who needs to know a lot when you know a little? <laughs> He's funny, oh, I'm very funny. Oh. Okay, class, today we are going to look at the question. Can anyone remember what the questions have been so far? Anybody? Ooh. How about you, Mr. Freakishly Tall Man, whose head is through the ceiling? Can you hear me up there, Freakishly Tall Man? No, no, no. She's head is in the clouds. Ha 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 In more ways than fun. Okay, so we've been learning about the Holy Spirit. Okay, so today we are going to learn this question. And our question is, why do we need the Holy Spirit in our lives? Does anybody know the answer? No, I do not think so. Because the incredibly tall man is up in the clouds and you are all looking at him. Ha! Huh? Focus on me. Focus on me for focus on Professor Noel Little. Okay, so why do we need the Holy Spirit in our lives? Okay. So, like every week, we are going to do a little experiment to find out because the Holy Spirit has power and we do not have the power. So why do we need the Holy Spirit? Now, I will show you through the medium of dance. Oh no, sorry, it's a different lesson. Okay, uh, as you can see, the Holy Spirit has the power. And whenever we are not in tune with the Holy Spirit, whenever He is not with us, we do not shine like the light. That is why it is important for us to read our Bibles and to talk to God and to ask the Holy Spirit every day to help us shine for God. 
and when we shine for God, we are able to tell many, many people about him and his good news that he died for us, that Jesus died for us to save our sins. Okay, I, I put you now to a video who explained a lot better than know a little because ha, I, I'm crazy mad scientist. Yeah, you see. Stories of the Bible Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip. Hello. Who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, Tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. And the Ethiopian said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Okay, this is my experiment. And this is a battery. It is a power source. It is God and has so much power. And this is us. A little light bulb. Oh no. A little light bulb, no work, no shine. It doesn't tell people or shine for God. But if I do this and connect it all up and connect the light bulb who is God's power, the Holy Spirit to us. Look, I shine brightly. So when I'm connected to God's Holy Spirit, I shine. And I tell people about Jesus. However, you must take care because whenever you do not feel connected to God, when you don't speak to him, when you don't ask him to help you, sometimes the circuit will break and our light can go out. But do not be afraid because we are always, when you know Jesus, when you know God, you are always connected to the Holy Spirit and you can ask him, to help you and have your light shine brightly again. How cool was that, that whenever the whole circuit was connected and connected to the power, that the light was able to shine brightly for everybody to see. And we learned there that whenever we are connected to our power, which is the Holy Spirit and his power, then we are able to shine brightly for him. We're able, just like Philip, to go and tell the good news of Jesus to everyone that we meet. How amazing is that? We are going to worship the Holy Spirit right now for how good he is. So let's get ready to worship. your praise and walk away and forget your name i stand for you if that's all i do cause there is none that compares to you cause all i want in this lifetime is you and all i want in this whole world is you 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 tell the world that jesus lives tell the world
for Christ in me. It's the truth that set me free. How could this world be a better place? But by thy mercy, by thy grace, kiss all I want in this lifetime. Today the same Forever till forever Meets the way 
Amazing job, juniors. We have loved having you here with us this morning and we hope that you've heard what God wanted to say to you. Right now, we are just gonna pray to finish off. So let's pray together and talk to God. Dear God, thank you for the Holy Spirit and for how he guides us. Thank you for the good news of Jesus. Help us to share it this week. Amen.